go. Yeah. Playing at Sonic 2. Oh, ah. Wow. Sonic, uh, what is it? Sonic 4, episode 2. That's it for that. Man, I had to try the demo out because last time, last time I bought Sonic 2 episode, I mean Sonic 4 episode, um, what is it? Episode 1. It wasn't all that crack of the beat. It was hyping up. It was like, all right, this is Sonic. It's going to be just like Sonic from back in the days. Now Sonic just looked all cracked out. It looked like he's on different stuff. But, uh, yeah, that. So, what's up? I'm gonna be porting live from the microwave as you can see here in Virginia, my home in VA. All right, so um, the year's coming to a close, man. That's that's so so sad, yet so 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 such a good thing. I'm ready for 2013. Hopefully, 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 big things are coming. I don't like to see. I don't like to talk about things that I'm going to be doing because um, if it doesn't work out, then I got my hopes, hopes up high and I got some people hopes up high and it's like, oh, jeez. So, finished acting class 101 in November. It was wonderful. Continued on to acting class um, advanced scene study. So like um, every week we go in and we have a scene with a partner. So I read and they read and we do this whole scene together. And it's, 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 it's fun. Last week in class, what was the third or fourth, fourth part of the second part of uh, acting class, we had to cry. <laughs> now, um, crying is never an easy thing. Sometimes you can, some people, for actors basically, it's, it's not an easy thing. For some people it is, some people it's not. But well, basically, for you to have to cry, you have to dig deep, deep, deep inside of yourself. You have to look for a place that's like full of hurt, pain, and all that. Some people don't have to do this, but uh, most people, you do. You have to look down and you're like, oh, you have to um, go over like a tra tragic event. Um, it could be a, a happy event as well that make people cry but not normally it's the tragic events that make people cry so you gotta think about um probably a loved one that you lost you broke up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend you did this you did that and it didn't work out right so um yeah we had to do that and <sighs> when it came time for me and my partner to go we went last so i figured right, if i go last and I'm listening to all these emotional stories because our scenes were emotional. I'm listening to all these emotional stories. I could, I gotta build up like some tears. It was this one story where this guy, he was, um, he lost, his wife lost the baby. Look, there was a newborn baby. They were just about to have it. They went to the delivery room and they lost it. And that was, that was sad, but that wasn't the key. Then there was another story where one of the guys in my classroom, he was dying. He was dying from cancer and he had to tell this to his girlfriend. And <laughs> I got so wrapped up. <laughs> I got so wrapped up in it, I was like, oh my God. I, I, a tear, a tear actually built up in my eyes just watching him perform. Cause the way they was performing it, it was like so real. It felt so real. So that's how far we came. Is we getting actors who have no experience. We didn't, been working since September and like I'm, I was dragged into into believing what they were doing so I was just sitting I was like oh my god and then they was done <laughs> when they got done I was like I'm sorry <laughs> all right so when it was time for me to go uh, my my story was um we had a pet and we had to put it down I had to put it down and my sister she just came home home from school and she's like where's the dog where's the dog where is he Come here, blah, blah, blah. And then I just break it down to her. I had to say, you know, sit down. He's, he had to 
we had to put him down. So we, we building up the story. It's about three or four minutes long. We building up the story, and it's like you know, I had to you know, put him down. And she she's sitting there. I can see her, my partner. She's sitting there. She's really trying to get into this. She's really trying to like you know cry. And then I'm I'm really trying to get into it too. It's like oh uh, like. Think, think about a dog, think about somebody you lost, think, 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 think. It was not happening at all. It was just not, not happening. And my teacher, he was like, oh, he was like, it was almost like you wanted to smile. He told me this later. He was like, it was almost like you, you wanted to smile. You naturally smile, which I do, I naturally smile. Some, uh, smile too much sometimes. So he was like, <laughs> He's like, we gotta find something for you. We gotta sign, find a scene because at the end of this 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 uh, class, it's a showcase. So we're gonna showcase for like um, a couple of managers from talent agencies. So I got like two weeks, two or three weeks to do that. So um, I gotta find a monologue or a dialogue that's right for me. So he said he he's gonna he's gonna my teacher said he's gonna help. Me. He's gonna try. Shout out to Joshua Nelson, look him up. He said he's gonna try and fix something out for me because he said I, I give off like the cool vibe. I give off as the uh, laid back, he said kind of goofy, um, just cool. He said I, I can't play it. I told him, I said I can't play it thug. I can't, that's not me. He said, you're right, you can't do that. You're not gonna be the drug dealer. You're not gonna be the hipster or something like that. So I was like, yeah. He said, you, you naturally smile. He said, like, well, every time I'm doing a sad scene in a story in class, he says, I always see like a smile just coming through when you read, which is which is which is the true the in real life. Right? I'm always smiling on almost any situation. I could be like completely sad, and I was like, damn, it is really just happening to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's that's nature. All right, so after that, after that. After those two, after that showcase, I have another surprise showcase. A showcase, uh, what do you call like them events that people go to? Workshop. I have a workshop with a casting director from a major cable network. So I get to perform. I got the fact of a dialogue. And I get to perform for this agent because they're looking, she's looking for actors right now for the new seasons. So, I have that to look forward to. I don't really want to speak on it because I don't want to jinx it. Well, it's not, about, it's not about jinxing. It's not It's about if I look back on these videos a few years later and be like, damn, you didn't get that. Like, damn. But hey, 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 that's cool. All I know is I just gotta try my best. My acting teacher has faith in me. K has faith in me. I have people who have faith in me. So did I say K have? <laughs> I'm just speaking. <laughs> I have faith in myself. I said K. My teacher hates when I talk in a third person, which I do it on purpose. But um, yeah. So it's been okay. I won't say wonderful year. It's been wonderful in the fact that I'm I met. I was about to say a plethora. Well, you can say that. I met a plethora of new people, which is cool. I always love meeting new people. A few of them have been very special. Very special. Very special. And that's the part I'm going to remember about 2012. Another thing is I, you know, started my, my acting career. Another thing I'm going to remember about 2012. So, um... This year has been special. We moved into this wonderful house. But, uh, but um, yes. So 2013, I'm looking forward. I also talked to a buddy of mine so on Facebook. I went to school where he's looking for actors. So I'm going to be helping him out with that. So basically, with 2013, I just want to dive right through it and drink. Nah, no drinking. I want to dive right through it. Just want to start off hitting the ground running. <laughs> Acting. I want to get my weight up. It's time to start eating right. Shake that depression off. It's time to get up. I'm so happy to be working. To be following, to, to be able to follow my dreams because it's, it's really hard to follow your dreams if you have a job. And my teacher, he went over that. He said, you have a job, you have a full-time job, you have to make the time, you have to find the time. So uh, this is the perfect time why I don't have a job at this moment. 
to see if I think I have what it takes to jump right in to be an actor. And um, I am an actor, by the way. There's no if I can be, so, but can be. so I'm, I'm gonna start doing some, um, probably some indep independent films. I'm gonna be looking into doing that and maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'll get that big hope thing. What my teacher told me is that uh, you have a better chance at winning the lottery like a few times before you make it big as an actor. I know that sounds a little discouraging, but you're right. You got millions and millions and millions of people who want to be actors right now. So, uh, hey, hopefully they have what it takes. But he did say this one thing that I'm likable. He said I am very, very likable. So he said I do have that one thing on my side that I'm likable. I got one feature. I'm likable. And there's a couple other things. So um, hopefully you guys see me in 2013, 2014. Posting TV shows. Um, what was it? TV shows, commercials, commercials. I really want to do some commercials and some modeling. So uh, yes, peace. Thank you for watching my dream. This dream is real. It is now. So um. Thank you, and I want. To, I hope you all guys have, all guys. I hope every one of you has a safe New Year, Merry Xmas, whatever that just passed. Happy holidays. If you don't celebrate anything, then uh, peace and love to you. I wish you the best. And um, 2013, let's go. Congress better get their shit to be out there too, because you know we better not go over this physical cliff. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's really on. But, uh, peace.